Jones, this time I'd like to bring this into the order. First, we sent a meeting of the town commissioners and the meeting that we asked to do our reorganization. But tonight, uh, as I open the meeting, the first thing we'll do is do the Pledge of Allegiance and Education, and I'll call on our vice chair to do that. Please stand. <laughs> to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Without which, dear Heavenly Father, we pause at this moment to recognize our dependence on you and ask for your guidance during our meeting tonight. Keep us focused on the people that we represent, the business that they have asked us to do, and to honor you in that service. We ask for your hand of protection to be with our emergency workers and law enforcement and those serving abroad in our armed forces. Keep them safe and bring them back to us soon. As we enter into this holiday season, keep us mindful of the reason we celebrate. While we enjoy time with family and friends, remind us that it is a perfect opportunity to share your love with others. In your name we pray, amen. At this time, I'd like to recognize any elected officials. Elected officials, if you're standing, you recognize them. Ben Kitchell. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. City Council. Shelby City Council. Alan. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I know. I, know. I, know. I, know. I see you back there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, veterans, if you're pleased to stand and be recognized. Art and Hale, if you're standing and be recognized. Now you got to speak. Dale Gordon. Oh, sure. Board of Elections, direct for one more month. Allison, what are your favorite sources? Uh, Mark Dellinger, Electronic Maps. Chris Green, Tax Administrator. All right, thank you, Dale. Uh, <clears throat> just want to let you know that this is a special meeting. It's being the first meeting in December. And this is the night that we organized our uh, officers for the commission. And at this time, what I would like to do is turn the meeting over to our county manager, Jeff Richardson. And he will uh, make the, uh, how am I going to say that? You will do the honors of uh, asking for motions for the chair. And then after you do that, uh, we will then turn it over to the chair to do the vice chair. So, Jeff, if you will conduct a meeting this time. Yes, sir, Mr. Chair, thank you very much. And at this time, board, I would like to open the floor up for nominations for the next chair of county commissioners for Cleveland County. Yeah, Mr. Parsons, if I may, I would like to I mean, make a follow up for the chair. And I'll second that nomination. Okay, there is a nomination and a second. At this time, the nomination to be closed, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. We have a motion for a chair. We have a second, and we now move that nomination to be closed. Can I make the yeah, add to that? All of you are by acclamation. Yes, sir. All your motion. Motion to be nomination to be closed and Mr. Paul's be elected by acclamation. I'll second that. Do you have a vote to close nomination, sir? Let's all one motion to close and have a left by acclamation to one vote. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. So there is a motion to close and a left by acclamation and a second. This time we'll take a vote. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Opposed, like sign. Mr. Falls has now been elected the chair of county commissioners. And Mr. Chairman, uh, at this time, I would like to congratulate you, Mr. Falls, and I would like to turn the meeting over to you at this time, sir. Thank you, sir. <coughs> at this time, <coughs> this time, uh, I'd like to open up the floor for um, selection of uh, commission vice chair. Are there any nominations from, from the commission? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to nominate Mr. Holbrook as vice chair. Mr. Holbrook, 
Chair. And I will second. I have a, a motion to elect um, Commissioner Holbrook as Vice Chair and a second. I move my motion to close and the vote to buy a commission. I'll second that also. Got a first and second on that as well. All those in favor of the, the closing and uh, accepting my information, please raise your right hand. Vice Chair.
And uh, thank you for it. I think the most important thing is, is that our chair and vice chair be recognized by who is here. And I would like to ask that uh, the chairman, if you would assess about two minutes so that you can get to go down and speak to the public and show who you are. Before we do that, can I quick give you this and then we can recess for a couple two minutes? <laughs> and since I respect the speaking to us, um, I'm going to bring this down to you. This is a plaque that says, uh, Presented to Ronald J. Hawkins, Chairman, in appreciation and recognition of your dedication and hard work. And this is uh, presented by your commissioners and by the staff as well. Uh, so, thank you for all your work. Appreciate it. Stand and face the flag, which I do right now. 
I see the flash that you got out of it. And I think, I think that's something we might all consider is moving it out of the shadows and put it in the light. And I would make a suggestion that you guys think about that, you guys. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate your comments. <clears throat> Anyone else wish to speak before the commission? All right. Next item on the agenda is the consent agenda. With that, I'll turn it over to county manager. Yes, sir, Mr. Chair. Thank you so much. I've got several items for your consideration tonight. The first item A would be your November 5th regular meeting minutes for your consideration, review, and approval tonight. In addition to the minutes, I would like to put before you this evening three budget amendments, uh, the first of which, amendment number 27, is in the Electronic Maintenance Department. Uh, it's for a total of $750 increase, and this would be to record remaining value of a camera system that is being bought from a company where we originally had rented the equipment, and this is necessary financially for us to be able to record the full value of this asset on county books. And that would be item B, amendment number 27. Uh, item C is from the Sheriff's Office, uh, budget amendment number 28. And this would be uh, to ask for you to allow us to budget donations in the amount of $250 uh, that the Sheriff intends to use for the upcoming United Way campaign incentives uh, that he will provide to the department for some, hopefully a very successful campaign. And finally this evening from the health department, uh, item number 29, the health department is asking uh, for permission to budget $3,994. This is a federal government grant uh, that would be accepted and then would be used for necessary operating expenses in the health department uh, for the remaining budget year. Those are the items for your consideration, Mr. Chair. Uh, be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you, Mr. Richardson. Um, are there any questions for the town manager? Hearing none, um, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. And second. Thank you, sir. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Now, on to the regular agenda. And this is a, um, uh, a bittersweet um, item on our agenda. Um, but uh, we'd like to recognize um, someone that has spent a lot of time with the county. Um, our our uh, uh, elections director, um, Deborah Clayton, um, has announced her retirement and will be retiring at the end of the month. And we wanted to um, present her with something. And, um, And also give the commissioners an opportunity to, to, uh, to make comments. Um, and then we would like to ask you up and, and present this to you and take some pictures and, and congratulate you. Um, uh, this, um, first off, is a, a resolution um, that if we pass the resolution, I will be presenting. Um, Resolution of recognition of elections director Deborah Clayton. I think I need to be in front of you all. Yes, ma'am. Right up. Leave that to me. Come right up. Right up. I deserve that. Yeah, right? you do. You Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, resolution of recognition of elections director Deborah Clayton. Whereas effective December 31st, 2013, Deborah Clayton will retire from Cleveland County. Effective December 31st, 2013, Deborah Clayton will retire from Cleveland County. And whereas Deborah has been an employee of Cleveland County Board of Elections since August 1986. And whereas believing in the importance of continuing education and with her ever changing election, the ever changing election laws, Deborah has worked to become a certified North Carolina elections administrator and, and has received her national certified elections registration administrator certification. And whereas Deborah is an active, <coughs> active in professional elections organizations on the state and national level and is a subject matter expert. She has served as a, as a presenter at several conferences and whereas during the election season, Deborah has organized and professional, uh, has organized and professional and helps bring balance to what can be stress, a stressful environment. And whereas throughout her years, Deborah has earned the admiration, respect, and friendship 
of those who, uh, with whom she has worked to come into contact. Therefore, be it resolved by the Clinton County Board of Commissioners that Deborah Blanton has commended, uh, be commended for her years of service to the county and the citizens we extend, uh, and the citizen, and we extend to Deborah best wishes for her many years of good health and happiness during her retirement and her future endeavors. Commissioners, you've heard the resolution. Is there a motion that we adopt this resolution? Second. Uh, everybody's either moved or seconded, it looks like. Um, we've got a first and a second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Thank you. Now, sign this and I 
appreciate you so much, Father. Thank you, Deborah, and I appreciate you too. Well, you're, you're welcome. We, we've been through a lot. We have. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyone from either one of the two boards uh, might say anything. Well, I can speak partially for the board, and they will have to agree that uh, we are confident that the county will save lots of money on post it notes. <laughs> that uh, Deborah <laughs> must get by the gross. If you've ever been to her office, there's at least five or six hundred, unless she's cleaned them off the walls and everywhere else. We don't know how anybody's going to run the office and fill the shoes that Deborah has been in in that last 27 years, much less uh, use that many post-it notes, I have to say. Uh, we, we found a closet downstairs that had probably 80 or 90 boxes in there, so we found your stash. Um, well, we, we, we contacted Jeff and he said we could send them to your house and say, that's a gift from the county, and so uh, just expect those there. You can put them on all your muscadines and your endeavors and your wife. Deborah just came from a vineyard. That's the reason she's dressed like she is. You know, I, I asked her, I said, I'm, I'm glad you dressed up on our account. She said, I'm just coming in off of the road from town. Yeah, she was and learning about telling what you Well, learning. we learned about spraying grapes and pruning grapes. I was in Virginia, and it happened to be this afternoon, so I just made my left Virginia time enough to get to the seminar. And we just got here in the town. So. Yeah. Could I also add, you know, having worked with her for about 10 or 12 years with the elections, this is a tough job. And on that particular day, she supervises a workforce of about 300 people. And I assure you, being a part of that workforce, those are nasty people, some of those election folks like myself. <laughs> and Deborah has always been equal to the occasion, not only in supervisory skills, but in nastiness. <laughs> it's been a pleasure for me. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you very much. And never, I can say the same as viewers. You you always manage in a very professional way, but a blunt to the point way, which is what is needed in many occasions in that job, because it is a tough job. And you have done an excellent job with it. You're going to be missed. Thank you very much for everything that you do and the mentoring that you do, along with all the folks that are that are running for office and helping us keep our books straight. Um, but thank you so much for what you do, and I feel like that you're a friend as well. And uh, I'm, I look forward to seeing the adventures that you get into, and the more, more you learn about grapes and muscadines and how to, and what to do with them in the end results. Well, thanks. Oh, she knows what to do with them in the end results. She probably should get a seminar. I just like to say something that's a little bit more on the warm side. Uh, also, when I first ran for the board of commissioners, this was my first entry into the political world and uh, went up to file and really didn't know how to file, hardly. And walked in and said, I was there and I said, introduce myself. And her words were, I'm here to help you and I will help you. It's got to follow the rules, the guidelines, which is what I expected here. Uh, and she felt very good about it. So my simple words would be, job well done. I'd like to echo that too, Eddie. I, Deborah has always been a, what I believe a stickler for the rules, which I appreciate. Uh, and her and I have, have got along very well uh, since coming on the board, and she has been a stickler for the rules. And uh, I, I appreciate the job she does, not only for the county, but across the state. She is, uh, Cleveland County is well represented on the state level by both her um, at, on the state level at the, the board election seminar and things that they rely on. Deborah's experience and expertise, and that will definitely be missed on, on state level, too. I guess anything I say would echo is what I could do with my first hour on him. And uh, we have the director of the Western Camp Commission said, What party is it? I don't know, said, What party are you registered in? So she took time out to sit down with me and explain the difference between your party going non affiliated, which would be independent. What the work would be and the load would be. And over the years, I do hear that echo. Now I'm Johnny. I tell him or something, she said, Now I'm Johnny. <laughs> but I appreciate all the guidance you give me, especially the tank, you know. I think you're helping her and the guy. That's the 
our way, and you can definitely do that. Appreciate it. And, uh, Deborah, I know where to find you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm looking around here and, and looking at the elected officials and trying to remember back in the past a little bit. But uh, I think probably I'm one of the longest running candidates or whatever. Well, Board of Education. Yeah, Kings 24, Board about 24 education. years now. Yeah. But I do remember your red pencil. None of my reports have ever been correct the first time. <laughs> well, and I will be honest with you, I believe it sometimes she would put it that thing to expect me to come back up there so she could see me. <laughs> you see it. Gosh, you call her. Uh, I think our board elections have been great for having you. Uh, I don't know how it will go in the future, but uh, it's hard to replace somebody with your experience and the caliber that you bring to the position. But uh, it, red ink aside. But uh, 24 years of dealing with you, it's been a long time. And, uh, but uh, you can always uh, go back as a judge or any of those positions. I could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and, uh, thank you for all the years you've given us. And I know you've got a, a new career that you want to go to. It's kind of a career I like, too. <laughs> but uh, thank you. Thank you very much. And on behalf of the staff, Deborah, and I have had the opportunity to work with you now two times, the first time for almost six years, the second time certainly just for a couple of months, and I was uh, very disappointed to know that you were going to be retired, but also very happy for you and, and excited for what you had ahead of you. And after listening to all the elected officials' comments, it's clear that you're the same person every day, everywhere you go. And from the staff perspective, it's also clear that you are a very hard worker. Every day when you come to work, when your feet hit the floor, you are on the move, you are on the go, you're working on behalf of the citizens of this county. And I think I think that without a doubt that you set a great example as a county employee you have. You're the same person that when I was here in the 90s, you're the same person today that you were then, except you, you've grown and as was mentioned, you're recognized across the state in your profession. And on behalf of the staff, we appreciate your hard work and appreciate your dedication to this community. Every day and every night. Yeah, she works in the night. night. <laughs> Deborah, I'd like to say um, as well, uh, thinking about what we're going to be talking about tonight and knowing this was on the agenda, uh, you already alluded to it. You know, you've been there for all the elected officials that are up here. Um, and in a way, whenever I was running, I mean, you were the person I looked, at, uh, uh, looked to for the answers on some of the technical things about how to file them. You know, if I didn't get a, a phone call from you whenever I was running and, and it was during the days that we had to turn in paperwork, if I didn't get a phone call from you or a letter from you, I thought you were on vacation. <laughs> I mean, you say something all the time. So I really appreciate I appreciate all that you've done for, for, uh, for me personally uh, and for our county. Uh, you've made this a, a fair place for, for voters. Um, and um, and I think we've seen increased voter turnout because of your actions. Um, so thank you on behalf of our residents. That's nice. I, I'd like to say one other thing in closing. Uh, of course, I live here very close to the Board of Elections. It's something that goes unsaid and probably unnoticed by a lot of people, but I've noticed it. She, she's not on the clock. She's there to do the job. It didn't make any difference whether it's weekend, nights, what have you. She's there. I've seen evidence of that. Well, thank you. You're a special person. Well, I have truly loved my job. And uh, evidently you all have picked up um, on that fact. Because uh, I, I, I will miss it. Um, but, you know, I, and my title is Farmer now. <laughs> and, um, and, um,
lease of the track property. Uh, Jack did write in his lease agreement that he will receive 25% of the proceeds for the revenue from the ATT. We can receive that 75. So pretty much what the Jack will get is $500 a month. We'll get $1,500, $18,000 a year in the next six. Any questions? I'd just like to say a couple of things. One is I've had uh, background experience in dealing with some of these and maintenance, and, and I think you've done a great job getting a good lease agreement. And uh, congratulate you on that and on the rate per month. And secondly, on the built-in increase uh, per rate, which is going to continue to increase. So I think from what I've seen on you, Mr. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we fought it hard. I mean, it, it, the original, you know, very little, uh, the original lease rate came out for 150 months, so we about doubled that. And uh, I think their increase in the every five year increments was 7.5%, not 10%. So, you know, I think, I think it's, it's, it's a good thing for the county. It's not going to hurt anything we have. It's just a, it's a revenue pot. You know, it's not the opportunity don't come around once every, every so often. You know, they're pretty much getting saturated with these towers. It's going to help the, uh, the taxpayers of Lake County and the north of the ATT pay for this. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you. 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 Thank
I don't sure what part time. Uh, she came middle of October last year as part time. About a year. Correct. Part time again. Part time from October until May one, and full time May one on. And current salary. Do, you, do we know what her current salary is there right now? I don't. 37, 30, 30. 30. 32, 32. 30, 32, yes. 32 was my guess. Yes, yeah. yes ma'am, that's correct. Uh, deputy director's salary is 32958 dollars a year. We recommended $50,000 for the director of elections. And that is certainly on the very low end of counties near our size and voter population of our size. And then part time and full time experience. Um, what kind of certification does he have? Jared would be better speaking um, about her, her employment history than, than I would. Dan has started taking classes for national certification and uh, she will get her state certification. She has to serve through a presidential election. She did serve through the 2012 presidential, but she was part-time. I don't know if that would be considered. I, I, I think more closely that it would be have to be serving full-time through a presidential election. So that would be in 2016 for her state certification. But she will obtain her national certification either uh, in 2014 or 2015. I understand. I know that uh, the commissioners here have no authority in naming that position because we are basically nominated by the governor. But I do question the fact that as an $18,000 increase in pay, Commissioner, I'm not trying. Mr. Officer, by being invited by our uh, uh, council, we may want to go into uh, uh, closed session and discuss this. Uh, but I think that uh, the chairman needs to be answering some of these questions before we go in. Yeah, I'd be glad to. Right, I'd, be right, glad right. To. I'd, I'd be happy to answer any of the questions that you've got. Number one. Uh, number two, I sent uh, a list of all 100 counties in North Carolina to Chairman Falls with the a number of what they pay their director of elections presently. And Cleveland County, and I've said that on a number of occasions since I've stood here, is on the very low end of that salary scale. Very low end. Based on, based on the county, just like I said, based on the population of the county and also based on the number of voters, which is the way that most counties, from my understanding, selects that according to Don Wright, the Board of Elections attorney. And it's been made abundantly clear to me, and I think Mr. Gillen was copied on those emails, that $50,000 is on a very low end according to the State Board of Elections. That is a very low end salary for a director of elections counting ourselves. Uh, Commissioner Gillen, I'd be glad to answer any questions that you have.
Commissioners went in closed session, and first off, uh, uh, Commissioners went in closed session, no action was taken uh, during closed session. Uh, now, I entertain a motion to go back into open session. Motion to go back into regular session. Motion to second. 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 All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Thank you. All right. Um, we've heard uh, a uh, suggestion from, or uh, we've heard a recommendation from the, the uh, Board of Elections. Any more discussion? Entertain a motion. Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion that according to the state statute concerning board elections uh, and their position pertaining to salaries that we accept the board chair's recommendation of board of elections. Got a motion. Commissioner Holdsworth, is there a second? I'll second. Got a second. Commissioner Allen, thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. All those opposed? <laughs> All right. Next item on the agenda is commissioner's reports. Start out the end with commissioner. Hi. Um, most of you know that uh, I was asking that uh, last meeting of the country, and uh, um, even though we had a good time, it was a little eventful. I, I missed you guys. Uh, the um, other thing that I would like to say is that. Uh, this year, and I thank you for the support of not only the new chair this past year. And uh, I also would like to talk to all of you about uh, how Thanksgiving went. Yeah. I know some of us had some issues during Thanksgiving, uh, health wise, and our, uh, sorry, Eddie, uh, the death in the family. Um, <coughs> and, um, but the thing about it is, if we all just think about those things that we're thankful for, my life has been blessed with so many things, that, uh, and I am very thankful for everything that I have been given. But also, especially very thankful for uh, this board. Uh, I have had the pleasure in 24 years to serve on a number of uh, boards, uh, and seven different boards, and I thank the three boards have always had the best interest of citizens of Cleveland County. And Thank you for what all that you do. And as Thanksgiving goes along and I did the church and everything, I think of all the things that Dick and I have been blessed with and I have been blessed with being on board that don't always agree. That's, that's, a, that's a given. But we still can come in here and talk to each other and, uh, and work together to make things happen. Commissioner report is thank you and all I've very good Mr. Allen? Um, Ron, I'd like to thank you for your chairmanship this past year and Jason for being the vice chair and also for taking on the uh, chairmanship from next year and Eddie for you taking the vice chair. Look forward to uh, the guidance and leadership from you guys going, on, going forward in 2014. Um, we've got um, the, just the season. Just uh, I'd suggest for folks to visit the different cities around the county. Everybody has Christmas activities going on, Christmas tree lightings, music going on. Uh, Kings Mountain has a ride through the town and listen to music. I think it's 101.5. If anyone correct me if I'm wrong, and ride through it and simultaneously listen to music and uh, watch the lights lights flicker. Um, we also have parades going on about every weekend. Get out and uh, let the commissioners throw you some candy in the parades. Uh, we'll, we'll all be there. But um, again, uh, thank you for being here tonight, and uh, that's it for me. Mr. Hutchins? It seemed like it uh, get busier rather than less. We had the farm scene breakfast, you know, we had uh, the travel tourism summit in Bowen Springs. We had the old uh, parade in Bowen Springs. Uh, health department playing this morning, fly with council meeting today. So there's a lot of things going on, and we certainly hope that things are going to slow down for us, but not. But in uh, this uh, note to Thanksgiving, you know, uh, very thankful for the guys' friendship, and uh, I'd like to congratulate 
have YouTube in your position and there. Uh, we will be here to help and support in any endeavor you want to assist. And uh, sometimes we got to make tough decisions, but decisions that we made to make the best interest of our economy itself. So. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. I'd like to say uh, also thank you to Ron for John I appreciate all you've done to help and solve the issue that we faced good in so that we had tough decisions. Thank you for your leadership and your friendship. Thank you especially on the board for remembering my family who's gone through some tough times as small health issues and uh, loss of sort of major art in the family. But uh, still all those things work out good for those who believe. Thank you so much for your support and the many blessings that we've all received. Do you have any other comments? I have nothing to Well, I'd like to start off saying, Mr. Uh, Robbins, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, I've learned a lot from you uh, in my short term, on the short time on this board, um, and uh, appreciate all your help and your friendship as well. You've done a great job. Uh, for the yeah, you the <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Um, and I would, I would like to uh, echo what, what I think everyone has said. Um, you know, it's a time to be thankful, and um, those of us that are on social media and Facebook and Twitter and things like that, um, one of the neat things about that is gain a different insight to our, our county um, by being on those. Um, there's so many different instances I can tell you that, that I've seen. Um, for instance, uh, uh, Commissioner Allen um, has got a uh, program that she started on Facebook. Um, that I think is a, is a great idea. Um, and I would suggest you look at that. What was the title of the page? Random Act of Kindness 2013. Random Act of Kindness. Um, um, you can see you can see what people are doing. Just just neat things that people are doing for other people. Um, it's not uncommon to see someone post a need um, in our community, and then um, uh, a few minutes later you see a response and, and, a, and someone helping out with that need. Um, so it, it is definitely uh, it shows a different side of our community, um, and uh, it shows how how uh, caring of the community we have. Um, I really do appreciate all of you. I appreciate your support on uh, this position. I don't need all of your help. Uh, uh, y'all all told me how much of a challenge it's going to be and what kind of time, uh, time it's going to take to do that. So I uh, appreciate that not so much. Unless well, there's anything else, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand.